getting hold of a golf club has not been easy this year. In fact, it's never been more difficult. So the question is, can you still get a bargain in 2021 when the new releases are just on the horizon? So it's fair to say that this year and last is very different from what we're used to, but in terms of buying golf clubs, this used to be the perfect time just before the new releases are about to hit the shelves in 2022. This time of year would be the ideal time to pick up last year's model, save yourself quite a few quid. But is that gonna be the case this year and are there still some bargains out there? So the idea of today's video is that we, and I say we, Hannah behind the camera has done a lot of research in the last few days, looking at five drivers that we think you can still save quite a bit of money on buying last year's model. But what I want to do, we're going to throw up five different versions, five models that we think you can save money. But more importantly, have you found yourself a bargain out there? And if you have, then make sure you stick it in the comment section below, because that's going to help your fellow golfer direct them to a possible saving in terms of buying their new driver so don't forget get involved in the comments and help out your fellow golfers but here's our five drivers that we still think you can save quite a bit of money on and it starts with a product from callaway so that first product from callaway is from their epic range and to be honest with you we've highlighted the epic max but their full range in terms of these drivers is really some decent options in terms of buying second hand but also brand new at a slightly reduced price as well. So the way we've done it is we've put four or five different options in the mix from our sort of regular UK sources, that is. I must stress, but I would imagine in the US you've got similar sort of options as well. So we've put together Golf Bidder, uh, Callaway pre-owned in this case, eBay, and also the prices that are being charged at retail, like I said, at reduced brand new prices. We'll start off with Golf Bidder, and what they are looking to charge is something around 359 you can get your first price on golf bid and don't forget this drive was 499 when it was first released at retail last year uh, full price you can pick them up for 449 at the moment on ebay we found them between two and three hundred pound and again worth pointing out at this point as well ebay is always i would consider maybe the most dangerous place in terms of purchasing from there's obviously fakes and other um dubious sort of characters out there in terms of potentially buying these products from. So I'd just be a little bit more mindful in terms of eBay, but we've thrown that price in as well. And finally, Callaway pre-owned anything between £313 and £369. And I will say in terms of buying Callaway products second hand, it's an ideal option because they also give you, I think it's 14 days to try the product, make sure you like it before you uh, finally make your mind up on that purchase. That's a real good way of buying any Callaway product. So that's some great savings there on our first product that we've looked at. So now it's time to move on to number two. So the next product up was from Cobra and it's the Rad Speed Driver. And again, really popular choice. And already it came in at a real realistic price. I think it was one of the very much the positives that came out of any Cobra review over the last couple of years was its price point. And this starts off at 369 off the shelf. And if I'm honest with you, we didn't really find it greatly reduced. However, if you went to those sites we referred to, so first of all, again, eBay, let's start there, between 200 and 350 pound. These are all sort of buy it now prices as well, not kind of stuff that you're bidding for. So real sort of uh, low end price there at 200 pound. Golf bidder started at 299, so again, I'd say what was interesting about the Cobra product was there weren't massive savings to be had, and that surprised me a little bit in terms of price uh, retention, if you like. So it came in at 369. Yes, on that eBay price, it's sort of that low end at 200, then there's an absolute bargain to be had. But in terms of at retail and the sort of the safer sources of buying the product, maybe not the big reductions that we've seen, but certainly again, a way to save money right now on this Cobra driver is certainly be buying it this time of year. So the next part we found that potential bargains and savings can be made is on the STX driver from Mizuno. Now it's a bit of a niche product, so I think you've got a chance of saving some money on this, some considerable money. Now, first of all, it came in at a realistic price point. I think the RRP was 399. Now, right now you can buy it brand new at 329. So that's a real decent price for a quality driver. You then go to eBay and that's where that real bargain can be had. It's 200 pound. Uh, on eBay, but obviously with those sort of same risks, risks attached. On Golf Bidder, we didn't find any second-hand products available. 
So the cheapest you can buy it was 329 still brand new. We didn't find anything on any other sort of used website apart from eBay, and that drops way down to 200 pounds. So massive savings to be made if you're prepared to take that risk on eBay. So we've got two more to go. One of the biggest selling drivers every time they release it is from the Ping range, and this G425 has been no different, and probably one of the biggest selling drivers of the year. It performs incredibly well in the hands of most golfers, to be fair. But in terms of the price point, as I understand, there's no release due next year from Ping, so that would suggest this is going to hold its price just that little bit longer. But again, if we go back to eBay at the starting point, certainly where it's at its uh, cheapest and always will be, £250 to £350 in terms of uh, those bids, or, or those buy it now prices rather. Golf Bidder, it starts at £323 you can pick up a G425 for. And the full price at the moment off the shelf is 399 So again, I think that, again, if you're looking at this list and where the bargain is at, I don't necessarily think it'll be in the G425 because like I said, it's very much still part of their current range. No plans to replace it as yet. So this isn't gonna be where you're gonna make those major savings. Right, so our last but not least, it comes from TaylorMade. It's a Sim 2 product and again, really popular selling driver for TaylorMade. And I would imagine plenty of you, if you've not bought it, if you were looking for a new driver this year, the likelihood is you will have tried it. It performs really, really well, but I think where TaylorMade and Callaway have got a bit of a, a reputation and a history of you know that the likelihood is they're gonna produce brand new product in January of each year, then you know you can grab this kind of stuff at a reduced cost. And that's no different this year. It's no giving any secrets away that new product is coming from TaylorMade and Callaway in Jan of 2022. So to pick up a SIM 2 right now, First of all, you've got to remember it came up, I think it was 4.19, the first price that it sold out for. It's then been reduced off the shelf right now. You can buy it at kind of around the 3.79 mark. And again, I think if you go into your local retailer, if they've got stock on the shelf and they've got a shaft that fits you, the likelihood is you can do a bit of bartering there and you can probably get that knocked down even further because they'll no doubt be wanting to shift that out the way, ready for the new product to come in. And you then go to eBay, and you see there, £250 upwards was the lowest price. And finally, Golf Bidder have got this in at 338 at the moment. So again, not massive savings. I'm surprised the Golf Bidder price at 338 thought that would be quite a bit lower. But certainly for me, the way to buy this at the moment, I'd buy it pretty much brand new off the shelf from a retailer. And if you can pick that up from that kind of 369, 379 mark, and I think potentially lower in the next few weeks as that new product is about to hit the shelf, then I think that's probably the best bargain you're gonna get. That may be linked with that uh, Callaway product, but the only thing with the Callaway product, it's part of their two year cycle. So the Epic, uh, the new version of Epic won't be released for another two years. So that's why that may just retain its price a little bit better. So out of the five drivers we've looked at, that's the one I think you can get your biggest savings on right now. If you're looking to buy a driver, you wanna start negotiating with your local retailer, then now's your time to do it. And that's us, top five done. We just need a summary. Right, so thanks to Hannah, that's our five drivers that we think, like I said, there's still savings to be had out there. And I think it's important to remember, make sure that if you go to any of your golf retailers, then I think it's a chance to haggle with them as well, because they know that new stock is potentially coming. But I also say potentially coming, because the thing to remember is, although the 2022 releases are coming very, very soon, I still wonder how much they're gonna struggle in terms of being able to get hold of stock shafts, heads, all the rest of it, because as I understand, that still could be an issue. So your best bet about putting a new club in your bag, not only to save money, but to make sure you actually get older one, is buy one on last year's models. Right, that's us, thank you for watching as ever. And more importantly than ever, I think in this one, like I said earlier in the video, stick your comments down below and help your fellow golfers direct them to where those savings can be made. So I love to see those comments. Hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. And of course, subscribe if you don't already. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.